Welcome to Langer Property, I'm Richard Edwards, and this is my Italy Home Buyers series. This is the second part, so if you haven't seen the first part, be sure to watch that and click that subscribe button as well so you don't miss anything in the future. Today, I'm going to explain how to find a house in Italy. Now, that might seem the same as an explanation of how to find pizza in Italy, but Believe me, good pizza, the really good stuff, can be really difficult to find and it's the same with houses. So where do you start? How do you search for a house? Well, I'm going to be saying some things that to many might seem to be stating the obvious, but I want to cover all the angles, okay? You've no doubt already come across the big portal websites such as immobiliare.it and idealista.it and subito and, and other websites like this. But they will often lead you to the smaller agencies and that's not always a good thing. The good thing is it might lead you to a region or an area that you didn't think about before. If you search for price and not so much for location, for example, that's what might happen. So what's the problem with the smaller local agents? Generally, you'll find that they can't always help you. Their house listings may lack vital information. The photography can be very bad. And this makes it difficult at the first level to find the contenders that you want to buy. Also, they're probably not so used to working with foreign buyers. Now, this is really important. It's not just if they speak English or your language, but your needs are different to local people buying. You need your handheld and explanations all along the way the process. There are many specialist agencies in all regions, and these are probably your best choice as they know what you as a foreign buyer need and expect. Uh, these agencies are often run by foreign people. Make sure they're not just saying they're specialists. If their website isn't in English or your language, I'd think about it carefully and explore your options. They might be difficult to work with and not just because of language. Just search and you'll find them. As I mentioned before, the photography of many of the agents here is poor, even some of the big agents. You might have to work around this. It doesn't necessarily mean the house is bad. It just means the agent doesn't see the importance of good photography. But you want to see certain things, not just pictures of the house. You want to see things around the house. Is there a pig farm next door? Don't jump ahead and assume a house is great. If you ask for more photographs, they may either ignore you or send you more of the same but try. An alternative is that some agencies will be happy to do a live video tour for you. So if you're serious about a house, ask if they can walk you around on Zoom or WhatsApp and that will give you a better understanding of a place. Now what about when you write to the agent? Well, Einstein said, if you give me a problem to be solved in one hour, I will probably spend 55 minutes asking questions. Now when you write to the agent, ask questions, but please do this with some control. Understand what a challenging job it can be to try to keep up and keep everybody happy. Choose your questions carefully and avoid just being curious. Now, I love to tell a long story. You, you can ask my wife. But agents are so busy and might overlook emails that tell a life story. Make sure the information is relevant. Get your information concise and save the life stories for when you meet over a cup of coffee. They'll be far more likely to help you if you can be concise. We'll talk more about that in the next upcoming video about viewing etiquette. Now, a great way to find a house is to click the subscribe button because I'm working on house presentation videos and video tours. So I'm going to show you the very best houses for sale in Piemonte. And clicking the subscribe button will make sure that you don't miss them. And it will also really help us because we really want to move this channel forward so we can give you great content, not just about houses, but about the region as well. Let's move on. Pricing. Of course, it's important to understand pricing, what you can get for your money. I often get inquiries from people asking for something like a house that can be used as a bed and breakfast, has a pool, uh, and they want a view of the Alps, and then they tell me their budget is 150,000, 200,000 euros. It's clear that research hasn't been done, as in the area where I work, in Piemonte, it's not possible to get what is described for this money. And I'm really sad having to write back and crushing their dreams and telling them that they're way off. Now, prices vary greatly from region to region and province to province. For example, a four-bedroom house close to Alba in the famous Barola wine area sold for 1 million euros last year. 
Now, if we were to move that same house about 35 kilometers or about 25 miles north to the Asti area, it would be worth around half that. So get to understand the areas and the pricing, what you get for your money in those areas, and be prepared to make some compromises if you don't have the budget for what you dream of, and you'll still find a great house. So in conclusion, you have to be thorough in your research. Check out the agent carefully. Be sure you can work with them and that they understand your needs and you also want to understand how the prices differ in different areas. My next video is going to be talking about viewing etiquette. Now this is important as it can help you get a much better price when you find something that you want to buy. So be sure not to miss that. Click that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click like and by all means comment as well. I'd love to hear from you and look out for upcoming videos the rest of this series on the House Buyer's Guide in Italy. Bye for now.